Alabama comes in at number five last night. Still very much alive, you'd think, for a college football playoff spot, depending on the games go this Sunday. But based on some of the opinions of some ESPN personalities, Maybe the tide's fighting an uphill battle when it comes to public perception. You can look at this from every angle you want to, and it's going to be a toss-up. None of us really know what the answer is. Only the people in the college football playoff committee is in there. But when you look at the losses Ohio State's had, I, I know Alabama's not playing uh, in the SEC championship this weekend. And I I'm not going to get the benefit of the doubt. I'm an Alabama guy Trump talking on here pro-Alabama, but that's what Joey Galloway was. Mm -hmm. He's an Ohio State guy yeah. talking pro-Ohio State on ESPN yesterday. I, I thought it was laughable. I I you know, listen. Talk bad all you want to about what Alabama is right now, but please let's not put them side by side this week. Until we get past this weekend, let's not even try to put Ohio State side by side with what Alabama's done. I realize what the resume is. I realize what the losses and the wins are. But to me, until they beat a Wisconsin, I don't even want to have that conversation. It's not perception based on how good or bad Alabama is, but how much some people would like a team other than Alabama to be in the college football playoff. And I understand that. And listen, I think there's a lot of people out there that feel the same way about Ohio State. And, and actually, what she was talking about when the numbers and stats line up, it was Alabama getting a 49% chance to get in and Ohio State having a 50% chance right. of getting in. But that was if Georgia won the SEC title game. I, I would love to see the statistics if that gets flipped. That's Auburn point. wins That's the SEC point. championship yeah. game, and all of a sudden, maybe that one percentage points gets a little flipped. I got to be honest with you. I, You've, you've talked about it all week, and I've kind of you know put that on the outside looking in. I would be more comfortable, honestly, I'd be more comfortable with USC getting in than Ohio State. If, they, if that was all coming down to it, Ohio State just to me, I, I just can't forgive a 31-point blowout loss yeah. where JT Barrett throws four interceptions. It, they were all healthy. They went on the road. They got the doors blown off of them, and they got beat at home by Oklahoma to me. That's, I, I understand that. To me, I look at it like this, B.A., and you can kind of back me up maybe on this. You might not. If the schedule had been flipped and, and Alabama had played Auburn week one and lost yeah. the game, then I don't even think we'd be having this conversation. Yeah. I think if, if Alabama had lost week one and had run the table for the final 11 games, they were in no matter what.